Hello, everybody. Let's take a look at some more political excess. Got another campaign ad review for you. This time it is Eric Sorensen, Democrat, running for an open seat. It's a competitive district in Illinois' 17th congressional district. Let's jump in and take a look. As a meteorologist, it was my job to help our local communities prepare for a storm. I'm Eric Sorensen, and right now the storm is in Washington. The Supreme Court taking away a woman's right to choose. All right, so I guess Sorensen actually is a meteorologist, so that plays to his favor. So he gets to use all the effects related to weather. He's done it in some of his other ads. And you can use that as an analogy for any kind of darkness in Washington. Any side would agree with that. He's going into the abortion issue. That's pretty standard. The Democrats, that's their main play. Sort of like Republicans with crime, you have to mention it because most of the public does side with the Democrats on the abortion issue. They side with the Republicans on the crime issue. So he touches on abortion there. Let's see where this finishes up. Politicians who only want to stoke hatred and division and big corporations blocking legislation that would lower prescription drug costs. I approve this message because I'll be a congressman that doesn't just warn you about these issues but helps you fight back. All right, why does he have to button up his jacket when he stands up? I never understand why you can't just stand up for two seconds and finish your sentence. But anyway, he goes for the special effects in that ad. It's fine. It's an okay ad. It talks about corporations having too much control, prescription drug prices. Those are generally going to be favorable and play well in a swing district. It starts with the dark clouds, then it ends with a sunny day. He's supposed to be the sunlight, I suppose, at the end of it, so you want to vote for him. He seems personable enough. He's a television personality, so he's going to have all that kind of experience. He does not say he's a Democrat in this ad. Maybe that hurts him. It's kind of a Republican trending area, but with redistricting, Democrats might end up holding it. But it is going to be competitive. This particular ad does not mention inflation gas prices, the price of meat, and all that kind of stuff, because that's, I think, the biggest issue. And I think that's another reason that the Democrats aren't really talking about inflation, because they're in power, and that's on everybody's mind. There's other issues, of course, but the big thing is that cost of living, and it wasn't mentioned in this ad, but other than that, it's an okay ad. It's not a great ad, not a bad ad. Let me know, what do you think of this ad? Is this one of the best ads you've seen all week? Or is this a terrible ad and you can't stand Eric Sorensen for one second? Let me know down below. And if you enjoy this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.